Uh, I'm on here. Uh, I just have some exciting news to report on the front of uh, RSD with hemp oil. Uh, since I put out my very my first uh, video on hemp, hemp oil and RSD, uh, I've had a few people contact me uh, that were into investigating it, and I've managed to connect them with some sources of hemp oil. And uh, all the reports that have come back so far have been miracle, miracle, miracle. Um, I had one lady that reported that she was getting such uh, insufficient pain relief from the morphine that her doctor was giving her that she actually um, started melting down her pills and uh, injecting them intravenously so that she could get more pain relief. And she said, the hemp oil, just even, it, it's not even the same. You can't even compare the two because one just kind of dulls the pain and the other one, well, one, one patient has reported to me, she said, if I get quiet and I tune in and I really, really, really tune in, I can tell the pain is there, but it is so far in the background that if I don't get quiet and tune into it, it's it's not even noticeable. And this has been across the board. I've had three patients so far give me those reports directly, and I have a research associate that has reported to me that um, he has come across a patient from California that get, is able to get hemp oil intermittently at her uh, dispensary, but they have a hard time keeping it in because it just as soon as they get it in, it sells out. But when she is able to get it, and she's taking the same half a grain of rice sized dose, and it's taking care of her pain perfectly. And I have one um, patient that has reported to me that because she has kids, and I guess she's very sensitive, some people are really sensitive to, to edibles. Um, she said that uh, just to be able to keep up on being a mother, She's only able to take the hemp oil every other day. And she said even on days when she doesn't take it, I guess there are some kind of markers that come before uh, it, the pain comes. And the markers will kind of give you an idea, or this is what she said to me, give, gives her an idea of how bad the pain is going to be. And she said even on days when she does not take the hemp oil, her markers have gone down 90%. So this to me, and this is only one case, so it's not conclusive, and I will continue to follow up on this and keep people posted as to how it's working out, but um, to me this is saying that the hemp oil is actually correcting somehow or another the cause of the RSD. It's soothing out the damage that causes the pain because if her markers are going down to 90% on even days when she doesn't take it, that means that it's actually creating an effect that is permanent to me. This is what the evidence says to me. So I will follow up on this and keep people posted. Um, but uh, this is, I feel, some pretty significant information considering that well, the way that the allopathic community deals with RSD is so heinous. Those pain pills take such a toll on your life, the quality of your life, um, in so many ways that, well, here we have something that is doing uh, an imminently better job, a quantitatively better. I mean, it's in a whole other ballpark as far as the control of pain. And instead of taking away from your quality of life, it's actually adding to your quality of life. So this is something that is, uh, is major, and I'm really excited about it, and my patients are excited about it, and uh, I will keep you posted as things develop. So, aloha, and uh, good luck with life. Ciao.